Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Between Two Beards. Today, we are joined by the legendary Proxy. Um, he is best known for uh, maining Resto and Balance Druids and absolutely slaying those Warcraft logs. I saw that post the other day, buddy. That's, uh, that's highly impressive. How you doing? Thank you. Thank you. I'm doing well. How are you guys doing? Doing great. Good. Doing great today. I think I we're going to get... You're in comfortability about a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> Today, I think we're gonna get our feet wet a little bit in a, uh, a three-man vision. We're doing a five mass. This is a. Uh, this should be noted. It's our first time ever going in and doing a, uh, a five mass vision with three people. I think the max I've ever done is two. Um, just the same with you, Proxy. I don't know how you how you typically take your visions, uh, but this is gonna be. I'm interesting. so happy for you guys to pop my vision orgy cherry. Yes. Yeah. Uh, actually, Very I think I think legally you have to have five for it to be an orgy, but nevertheless. Oh, three way. Um, <laughs> we, uh, we're gonna get crack lacking here. Today we're also gonna be reviewing, uh, I know you. we've already done our Druid's Guide, uh, moving into Shadowlands, but we did not touch on Resto and Balance um, because we were waiting on the Master. So uh, we're gonna get uh, get crack lacking in this. All right, so Proxy, right. Um, we, we like to do a little bit of a uh, where we where they were, where they uh, they are, where they they're going, where they where they've been, where they are, where they're going, um, with some of the classes and uh, gotcha. And um, so tell us tell us a little bit about Balance Druids, how they how they've been performing in, in BFA, maybe a little bit of how they were in uh, in Legion for those whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, for those of you that aren't aware. So with with BFA, they were. Pretty solid in season one, um, PvP especially. That was really the only season that balanced druids were really used at all in arenas, and there were actually some comps that pushed relatively high rating using a balanced druid. And now, after some nerfs, they are no longer as viable in arenas. They're just too squishy. They don't have enough self-sustain. And what uh... in terms of why is why is it that feral druids because i know you know and in, in, in some of our our higher uh arenas that that touchpad and i do we we encounter a number of different feral druids what makes them have uh, have more utility or more sustainability over over balance because i know that's one of the things people talk about is how squishy how squishy uh, feral druids can be so with with feral druids one of their pvp talents makes their ferocious bite reduce the maximum amount of health mm -hmm. that the target has. So comboing that with maim and then going into a ferocious bite will just, it chunks people's health after they have that reduced health. Gotcha. And balance really has nothing like that. We're very reliant on our cooldowns to actually be dealing damage. And if we get kicked once, it's basically run around, jump, and cast Sunfire and Moonfire, and then hope that you get enough Astral Power for Star Surges. Oof, that's rough. We got a couple potions over here, gents, and I don't know what the good, what the good color is. Uh, green is bad. Green is bad, so that means that red is good. Red is good. A little bit opposite there. Um, yeah. Oh, here's a, here's a red right here. How are we looking? I think I am... I'm gonna grab this one just because I'm over here. That is the one thing that's going to make running more people in this vision harder than it than less because it's it's not shared. Um, let's grab this mailbox too. Might as well. Uh, so so do you is is arenas really kind of what you focus on or do you do a lot more PvP raid? What's uh what's your focus in gameplay and, and how do you really uh, maximize uh, resto and balance? I've I've dabbled in arenas as balance and it's it's hard to push high ratings because. We have no survivability. Yeah. So. Just killing most oh, okay, of I really focus on raid and mythic plus more. I'm currently 2800 raider IO and I'm 9 of 12 mythic. Oh, that's awesome. For nice, dude. That. That's awesome. As I, as I said before, I did I saw that the post of the uh, the parse board for you, and uh, it's it's highly impressive. What kind of corruptions are you running to do all of your damage? Because we know that obviously it's just not a natural thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, par just parses are very very skewed and very scuffed right now because uh, no, of corruption. Nobody so. cares about them anymore. Like it's and and it's fine. Like it's fine. I I never really was a huge fan of parsing anyways because it it, it automatically creates a system that takes away from the teamwork that is supposed to be. The priority in uh, raids, yep. Yep. Um, but it's just been an absolute uh, clown car of of numbers uh, this season, just because of corruption, like you said. So what yes. uh, what, so, are the, what are the priority corruptions that you run as balance? 
Gushing Wound is incredible for, for basically everything. There's even in PvP, there's no way to I like most mitigate possible. it. Yeah. So if you're if you're running Gushing Wound, preferably multiple stacks. Um, it has very diminishing returns if you only run one stack. It just doesn't get beaten out by really anything if you have multiple stacks. Okay. Um, so last night when we were doing our heroic run, which is when those logs were from, I was running a rank 6 infinite stars and rank 2 gushing wounds, and I was sitting at around 96 corruption. Dang. So I had a very fast thing from beyond chasing me <laughs> a lot of the time. It was basically Usain Bolt in World of Warcraft, and it was very terrifying. Uh, <laughs> Justice, why don't you come grab this right over in this corner here, buddy? Yep. We'll do it. Um, so, so how does uh, how does gushing wounds work? Because I've actually never had one drop for me, so I've never gotten to see it in use. Um, but is it is it does it tick off of your dots? Is it uh, is it only on spell use? So gushing oh. wound on your damaging abilities has a chance to proc it. So it can proc off of your dot damage, which is what makes it so good for dot classes. Uh huh. Um, so I'm really missing out as a uh, as a feral slash guardian druid. Oh, oh wow! You're getting eaten right now, bud. Yeah, yep. heavy. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was I was standing fucking, still. You're standing in the fucking breath. Yeah, because oh. I had a gift of the titans, so I was just kind of mongoing him. So like, okay, Oof. whatever. Our uh, our sanity is not uh, not as hot as I'd love for it to be. We may ha actually have to use orbs in this, which typically doesn't what? actually. No. Yeah. Right. It's, it is She's crazy though how like like you you can pretty much clear a five mass solo without having to use an orb anymore. Relatively simple. It's not yeah. not too difficult. Let's grab the mailbox. I'm still missing that mount. Are you really? Uh, yeah, I am. Purple, Dude, I actually, purple's I worthless. Purple. Blue and black are blue, black and red are the ones that we want. Oh no no no! no, no, no. Over here, bud. Yep, I'm coming to get you. Don't that, you? Uh, That's fine. Forget about me. I didn't I didn't open it. Good. I don't want you to get a mount. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, for, for raid, it's it's really single target stuff for the more multi target fights like Hive Mind and probably. Vexiana, where oh, there's there a lot of ad cleave. It's a lot more like Twilight Dev, and then you just kind of have to reposition yourself a little bit. That's really the only way to parse as a balanced druid on those AOE fights is running Twilight Dev. Dude, um, Got down. Get Rosen. Hold on. Kill this thing first. I, I Void Buffet eyes. needs to be interrupted. That's done. Holy shit. Yeah. Done. Done Zoni, the capital of Dunitude. That thing hit me for oh, 419k. Damn. Wait, where's Proxy? Proxy wasn't even with us. Yeah, I'm, I'm right here. Holy crap. Proxy, you need to make yeah, sure yeah, that Void, yeah. Void Buffet gets interrupted. He has 2.2 million health. Oh, that's why. It's because of the, the debuff. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't let it, don't let it go off. That thing, that Trans, stack, baby. that stacking debuff is uh, is what's gonna kill you. Holy crap! <laughs> wow. Okay, so there you go. That uh, you little learn a little tip there. That void buff it, the stacking debuff. That's the priority. The first one's not gonna cost you anything. I just used an orb. Yeah. Throw that down on top of you guys. Awesome. All right. Sweet. There's baby another. Juice. There's a re another red potion over here in a chest. So we'll save that for after the next mini boss. Um. And then, uh... Hey, you wanna go for the mailbox now? We can. Yeah, might as well. I mean... <laughs> if we happen to fail this, at least, Ooh. like, maybe we get him out. So... Yep. Oh, we can't even click the mailbox here. Click it's, it's this one. Oh, whoops. I'm gonna um, this. So, uh, moving into Shadowlands, then. You know, are, is like, it, what's, what are the, obviously, we, we've kind of touched a little bit on the overall, the overarching changes that we're seeing with, uh, with Druids. But, uh, Balance and Resto specifically, what's, uh... What's the new play on those? Balance is getting a pretty decent overhaul in terms of how their alignments work. So as of right now, whenever you cast a Star Surge, that's when your... Oh my god, hold on, I'm slow. <laughs> that's when your <laughs> um, alignment things proc. Okay. Okay. So, that, that, so this, you're talking about the, the Celestial alignments. Yes. Okay. So I'm right now. Yeah. They're called their the solar and lunar empowerments, which okay. gives them a little bit of cleave damage. Oh jeez. And pull that. Pull that. okay, just uh, this one only. We don't it need to deals go down. a little bit of more, uh, yeah. a little bit more single target damage as well as um, decreasing the cast speed. 
Gotcha. But other otherwise, okay. outside of that, that's really how is that going to how is that going to change uh, players' interaction with that class or with that spec, if you will? In sh going into Shadowlands, there. I don't know if this is how it was in MOP because I didn't play balance in MOP. I read something that said that that was what they were like in MOP. So they're going back to an old system and they're being updated into eclipses. Mm -hmm. So oh, I remember that. Yep. Yep. That was that was that MOP. Was I right with that statement? Yeah. No, uh, no, 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 no. the eclipses came out, I thought, in uh, in Legion with the artifact weapon, didn't they? No, because they were I believe they were also in one. Okay. We're balance druids I, professionals over here. We know all. Yeah, about we this, know this. all about balance druids. <laughs> all right, uh, I'll right, drums. Hold on. Before before we talk. Oh Jesus. Oh boy. Game time. Okay, that's my interrupt. Oh, you guys don't have. Uh, if the polymorph is on me, you do not need to kick it. Cool. All right, it's on proxy. It's cool. Polys everyone. Oh, no, okay. it doesn't. Don't worry about it. I got it. Wow. Okay. Wish you told me. Tree ants, baby. I wanted, I wanted to have some kind of discussion for it when it was like, wait, how's it going to play Woo! out? Like, <laughs> Brock's like, I got it. I got it. Dude, I got this, bo it. this yeah, boss is so that. easy if you're range. All right, well, I need to let this. If you're ranged, if you're a druid and you can throw down tree ants. Uh, Justice, you're, you're, I can't get to you, man. No, I'm good. Okay. I'm good. We're good. <laughs> That's so slow back here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, like, man. What I do as a warrior there, look at the portal. What I do as a warrior for that fight is I'll I'll stray him towards one side so I can focus which direction he's gonna go. Yeah. And then I'll I'll blaze storm through that one so I don't get slowed. And then the next time he ports over, I use heroic leap and charge. Uh, like okay. Bull rush. Yeah. Sure. You can't charge him since he's line of sight, but Must... I can bull rush. So. And uh, and and the the slow the the leaden foot doesn't affect your charge at all, correct? Nope. Must nope. be nice, well, dude. Yeah, it doesn't affect bull rush. Yeah. My my poor uh, Triceratops comes out and he's like, "What the hell is going on?" He's operating at like one <laughs> percent like of capacity. Stuck yeah. Car again. Can we go? Can we, can we go get the uh, the old the old bear? Oh no, he's not up here. He's up at the other one. No, be the other one. Yeah. I went walked in there and was disappointed. I only the, shadow, the Shadowlands changes are interesting. So are you gonna have like the going... button again? Like to switch between the two and like switch? No. So the way that they're There's doing a red right it here. Who needs spam... it? Spam. Uh, proxy, come grab this red. And okay. uh, justice, grab this blue over here. Red's over here. There's red right here. Okay. Blue's behind you. Oh, I'm okay. blind. Hi, welcome to Between Two Beards. Today, alchemy. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine that was an episode we talked about like all the like efficiency behind behind like a single profession. Oh, yeah. I, I have absolutely no room to speak on that. I can talk about engineering. Are there are so are there are there any uh, have you have you heard about any covenant changes um, that that the like because that's the one thing I haven't looked into a ton is the covenant abilities and how that uh, that's going to synergize with your overall rotation. I, I imagine it's going to be depending on who you choose. Obviously, uh, it's going to be a little bit like um, your your artifact ability was in Legion, where it's it's a long cooldown that you use to help kind of fill in those those openers on raid bosses or or whatever you know you you pop all your big cooldowns on that's that's the level of interaction you're gonna have with those abilities to start so i've, I've looked into it a little bit i with the shadowlands and like the new the new content with expansions i like to keep myself a little bit surprised so yeah, i go into the line I, I had beta access for bfa and i got onto it and started questing in nazmir and I was like, you know what? I don't want to do this. I I want to wait and see what actually happens, what comes. Yeah, one hundred percent. Um, looking at it right now, it looks like it looks like Night Fae is going to be pretty strong for balanced druid and just for druid, as we kind of um, expected. Yeah, Night Fae. Like Night Fae looks, which you know, it's cool. Um, and I hope they they kind of. Obviously, the big thing is like like your covenant gear and your abilities and stuff like that. And you're gonna have people that that min max and they want to go with the covenant that's gonna that's gonna give them the the most damage. Um, but then you also got to think like these these teamogs are awesome, and for the the players that really enjoy yeah. like the the min max and the aesthetics, it would be interesting to see a druid rock and rivendreth gear if that was the one that yeah. they had to had to pick. The night fay though, <laughs> that ability man, I was looking at that. That's the one that unleashes like a flurry of your abilities, correct? That yep. looks like it's going to be such a neat. Yep. I can't wait to see the animation. It re it really yeah, looks like it's going to be I so agree. cool. And if it's if it's spec based abilities, that that could very well be oh, a required 
Yeah, yeah. Um, from from what I've seen, it looks like it's gonna be because like it talks about. I, I read something that talked about for feral druids unleashing like a flurry of bleeds and swipes and stuff like that. Um, okay, so I okay. think I think the animation, you know, who knows? But maybe for balance, it's just like like a surge of like star energy coming down from above, or like yeah, like just from all different directions. Just, just Look like, like the Death Star them. just open up on the enemy. That would, that'd be incredible. And if it's if it's just like. It's it's incredible. Run and over this, here. this actually says Ooh. you'll cast Moonfire, Wrath, Regrowth, a bunch of just mix of healing, defensives, damaging abilities. Yeah. Uh oh. This is a. That, that does look like the strongest one. This is a pack that. Venthyr actually doesn't look terrible either. Venthyr. Venthyr is the uh, the necro. No, not the necro lords. The Venthyr are the. Um... This is the vampires. Oh, okay, okay. That's it. but they're the they're Rivendreth is their capital is what I'm is what I was saying, right? Correct. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I've I've tried to keep myself I try to keep myself pure from a lore perspective because I like to be surprised by that stuff. Um, yeah. All right, let's do it. Pick up a combo breaker. All right, so I don't have a battle res. Justice doesn't have a battle res. Proxy, do you? Uh, negatory. Okay, so all of the battle res are gone. So we just need to make sure one person stays up so we can keep getting each other up. Uh, Justice yep. in mind still yep. should be free without expending any sanity to make it happen. Um, uh, Proxy's already used his, sacrificing his sanity. No, actually, if you use an orb, orb, it actually doesn't. Oh, yeah. did you? Oh, you got us up with an orb. I didn't realize yeah. that. Cool. Because there's two down, so it might as well. Awesome. Awesome. We might still have a free res then. Uh, we do. Yeah, yeah, everybody should He's have a free res, free which, yeah. which we'll just, we want to try to save those for Illyria. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um, here. I'm grabbing this chest. Um, but the, the biggest thing with balance is those those eclipses. If you, in order to get each eclipse, so you have your solar eclipse and you're going to have your lunar eclipse. Uh huh. If you want more AoE damage, which is something that balance oh, druid is cool. just, it's extremely, extremely lackluster right now is their AoE damage, especially outside of cooldowns. Which is so interesting, because correct me if I'm wrong, but in uh, in Legion, weren't they known for how much just silly damage they were doing AoE-wise with uh, with stars? I think so, yes. Yeah. Um, and, and that was... I, um, I, it was interesting moving into this last... Uh, this, this most recent patch for BFA 8.3, uh, because you... It, there was there was a little intrepidation for people. They were like, "Oh yeah, Feral doesn't have very good AOE," and it took some coaxing, especially in uh, especially in Mythic Plus, to get people to realize, "Holy crap!" Like, I think Feral actually may be the more optimized one for uh, for fortified weeks than than balances. Yeah. So with with Feral, they have their bleeds that just go completely rampant on everything. They have, I think it's called Primal Slash. Yeah, that's the one that applies that it puts applies it to on all, everything. Yeah, for for like a quarter of the duration, but it applies it to everyone at like uh, same same combo point kind of build um, as typical with rake. But it also it also does a, a flat amount of damage. Should we're gonna it, I bubbled. Um, it also does a flat amount of damage too. So so you know just popping that over and over, even if you're not trying to reset uh, reset your bleeds. It, it, the 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 Multiplier is just ridiculous, and then obviously, if you've got a feral druid with gushing wounds, get out of town. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's nutty. I mean, the the thing with um, balance right now in Mythic Plus is that it's very priority target. If there's something that needs to die, you just set your balance druid on that, and they will kill it. Which and there there are there that's are where really, all of their damage comes from. There's really good weeks for that too. Like uh, if you have a a bolstering week or something like that really really good weeks for balance druids to come in and and the the priority target is something that feral druids can do but i, I don't think by any means they do them nearly as well as uh, as balance druids do oh. um Ooh. why is it is okay, this not a mouse over anymore i i'm like i'm trying to like, right on, like i'm trying to yeah right i'm trying to cleanse you and it's not going off touch of the abyss kill him whoop da whoop da yeah, uh, it looks like that's not one? not operating like a mouse over anymore. That's awesome. That's a cool place. Justice, you're going to need an orb <laughs> here, buddy. Mm, we're going to kill this guy. Okay, but you've got... All right. Do you have a red somewhere nearby? I don't see we one. See? I don't see one. All right. Uh, he should die pretty fast. Okay, let's do it then. All right. We can, or we can orb if you want to orb. We still have two. Yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead. Fuck it. Yeah, okay. I'm going to do it. 
Okay, ready? Okay. Yep, if I had a couple of them, I would have done that. I'm gonna pull him, and you guys can just stand in this. Let's do it. Let me get my sanity up a little bit before you go. Oh, Jesus. You can combo. Let's go restore your sanity. We're good. I know. Watch out for the tentacles that he puts on the ground. Those are the uh, the big nasties. Walk over them? <laughs> yeah, yes. For speed buff, just like in Sanic. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh okay. For Sanic? Sanic. Sanic the Hedgehog. Sanic. Uh, we got a mailbox Everybody here. Pulled. Also, she's got Valyria's gonna pull the ones behind us, I believe. Mm, no. Please. She can get feared into him. Okay, maybe that that's, that's me what and that does it. That my happens, first, uh, that happens five mask. every time <laughs> for me. Is she always pulls those guys? Okay. Are there right, three little things? Are you, no, no, no. Hang on, hang on. mailbox. Oh yeah, yeah. Good luck, buddy. Nope. Uh, nope. Not, not a letter of encrusted void glob. Hmm. So juicy. All, All right. right. Three, two, one. Boop. Awesome. Flawlessly awesome. executed. Beautiful. Flawlessly. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> nice. That works. Oh, and the eyeballs in front of us. <laughs> How terrible would it be if it started off with three eyeballs because of three players? <laughs> uh, I don't understand why it's hitting me. I need to have this one. I on don't it, like your these trees things. are kind of fucking me because I'm pretty good at positioning this guy. Well, doesn't one. doesn't look like that to me. Why yeah, do I have aggro? I'm spamming moonfire sunfire. I just Frost, I'm gonna, gonna keep. I'm gonna, candy, bud. I'm gonna keep. Uh, right no, now. he's good. He's Don't good. Guys. That's an eye of chaos. That's an eye of chaos. Where is he? There he it's is. Over here. He's over by the entrance. We're working with Skull so you can see. I gotcha. Thank you. Okay, I can actually start... start doing some damage now. Okay. I'm gonna start utilizing uh, some of the other space. The other side. Uh, I just, the... I'm keeping my back to the whole situation. That's what you're supposed to. Yeah. Good job. You're doing it, buddy. Well, it, typically you at least have to face him to cast uh, cast spells. I don't have to face you guys to heal, so. Yep. Dope. Fair enough. Cool. I did this like weird like backpedaling bullshit. <laughs> to every ankle. Alright. Kill him. So in order to get those those eclipses that I was talking about, Sorry, with, yeah, we got it's fine. Visions require these are stressful, man. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't know. Visions require a little <laughs> bit more attention than keys do. You know what? Scott was yes. like, "Hey, let's do something that's gonna be a little less stressful. Let's just do a three. Let's just do a five mask." Yeah, cool. easy breezy. <laughs> just you're like, "Fuck!" Like calm, we dude. died like in the first damn area and shit. Dude, that debuff, that scaling debuff, is nutty. Ugh. Uh, but anyways, you're the yeah. uh, the eclipses you were talking about. How are those gonna operate yes. now? Is so I, I already said that there was balanced druid was very lackluster damage, and that's when we got into the the feral talk. Mm -hmm. um, some some light feral the play. Eclipses. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. <laughs> well, we know what we do here. And Scott's free. All right, dude, you don't gotta expose me like oh, that on your man. Like, come on, <laughs> Oh, I let him loose, <laughs> putting him on full Imagine blast like, right, right here. Like full, acting in like full rage, like come on, man. <laughs> just, <laughs> do, just you know, head, you know, I'm gonna say it. Head down and comes up with a headset with cat ears on it. It's like, uh oh. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna say it, man. I'm gonna say it. There's a clip there somewhere. Scott's on the beard is better than yours. <laughs> oh, 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 and he comes in for the combo breaker. All right, Justice has left the party. The <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm letting myself die right here. I don't oh, care. He's done you it before. Try to keep up all you want. Hey, I didn't say it. Why are you punishing your <laughs> healer? <laughs> Uh, uh, careful with AoE here. Remember, he's going to turn us against each other. All right, eclipses, go. Eclipses. So, <laughs> in order to get them, if you want to do the AoE, you want to spam, which is going to be the the lunar empowerment for your lunar strikes. You want to spam Solar Wrath, and you'll get every Solar Wrath that you cast has a chance to you give stop. you <laughs> the opposite. <laughs> I gotta keep my hammer of justice on cooldown because this big old dumb cat Hammer of justice one. on justice? How <laughs> fucking. <laughs> that is terrible. I am Do contacting the Better Business forward. Bureau. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Proxy. Okay. He had that coming. Oh, no. You, you are good. I am taking a lot of damage from Thing from Beyond. I'm hell plotting. I gotcha. I gotcha. I okay. think. Eclipse. <laughs> Eclipses, yeah. Well, you uh, know what? Let's just move on at this point. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, fuck it. <laughs> uh, oh. <sighs> no, right. but the, those eclipses are. You, if you want that AOE damage, you're gonna want your lunar strike to get empowered, which is the lunar, the lunar eclipse. So right. you're gonna be spamming solar wrath in order to get a lunar eclipse. And if you want single target damage, you're gonna oh. be spamming lunar strike to get. S a solar eclipse. So is it is it like a, is it a system of juggling like back and forth between the two of them? Just kind of, it's it's going to be as it sounds. And correct me if I'm wrong. It sounds like it's a build up system where you have to anticipate what's coming, 
people who play Balanced Druids well are going to be the, the players that uh, understand the content really well and can anticipate what's coming next. Kind of like how dis Discipline Priests right. operate. Yeah. Interesting. And re uh, Resto Druids actually very similar in that sense too because they're all hot based. Uh huh. So they have. They, oh god, I did not realize that that changed everyone. Woo! Yep. <laughs> um, I was in just the past, saying they're all willy nilly, not caring at all. In the past, with my like Eclipse experience, it was originally intimidating to try to analyze that. And then as you got used to, like, okay, cool, like this ability will generate this much power towards this Eclipse. Like it ended up being really fun, like toggling between the two. Uh -huh. And so I am actually looking forward to, to doing that because it made that class feel different than just another class. I got these. Class. Yeah, and I feel uh, like that's what it's going to feel like again. Yeah, so like when I... Like a, a balanced druid in Burning Crusade, not very often seen still, like because classic you didn't really do it. It's like, okay, cool, you're a moon chicken. Like you can't do anything, you spend moon fire. Uh, there definitely had been times where like if you were a PvP balanced druid, all you had to do in VGs was moon fire. The direct damage on it was enough and you didn't have to worry about casting anything, getting locked out of spells. That's a, that's all you had to do. And so Blizzard tried to like creating, tried creating a system that was like, okay, but how do we make an actual like gameplay and like switch in things? And that's when we started seeing a lot more of the astral power stuff. And like yeah. we were using like toggling between the two, and then using astral power here, and then you want to like I remember like there was some kind of addition of Starfire that they adjusted, and it was so so rewarding having that cast go off this giant beam, yeah, like, this giant fucking meteor of astral power shooting at a target and it was so satisfying and i actually really loved that about playing balance Druid. i was like cool this is actually really entertaining now compared to just like any other caster where you just spam one ability yeah that's that's what i really like about balance Druid. coming into bfa whenever i was asked to dps i would have to switch tunes because i i didn't know how to play balance Druid. i, I remember that I, 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 played, <laughs> I played guardian and resto and that was it like yep. <laughs> It has always really? been a, a, a spec that's been a little bit confusing to me. I've, I've dabbled around with it a couple times. I think I got my uh, my Mage Tower appearance because I was, you know, making the push like everybody else was at the end of Legion to make sure I got all those Mage Tower appearances unlocked. And oh. uh, and that was, I pretty much all I did was the, uh, the oh my goodness, the, uh, oh my goodness, uh, Infinite Stars. I just like kept dropping <laughs> Infinite Stars all the play, all the, all around the place and running around and moon firing and sun firing. Um, but I do know it's, it's, I love watching the balance druids that that you know drop the hots or sorry drop the dots and then they come in with these really crushing blows um, and that's one of the things that I think a lot of people there's a misconception about balance druids being uh, specifically like dot oriented and that's not that's not mm. the case at all same thing with with feral is uh, it's you know as we've talked about they're not they they have a lot of very heavy crushing ferocious bites that really make up a majority of their damage okay. playing them right fuck us up here we're dropping an orb right here oh, uh, right? yep yeah. last thing cool right right drop, right drop an orb pop an orb pop an orb I'll see what did it. So I can punch up the game. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, I'll watch And drums. Dope, 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 dope. Don't dope, move around dope. too much. Darkness. Ooh, your treants fuck me so hard, and I hate them. I, hate I them. use those beaches on cooldown, bro. Oi! Dark and sky. Alright, move. Interruption. Move the moose. You're trying to fucking get my ass, Scott? What's this? Hell wow, yeah. this she has a Terrible. lot more health with three yeah. people. Holy oh, oh, shit. shit. Dark sky, dark sky, dark sky, and swoop. Swoop, swoop, de loop. Take the polymorph. We, we might actually need to start managing these bombs. Uh, oh, they, clear, they, right. clear, they clear up. Okay. So as long as we keep one side of the room. Oh, oh just don't get hit by that eye. The eye and the. Yeah. Alright, this. Ruffin, ruffin. <clears throat> nope. Well, Proxy! Well, well, well. Chains, 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 I'm chains, fine. chains, 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 chains. <laughs> your, 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 uh, your sanity's half of that now. Oh, we yeah. are okay. Oh, it yeah. was calculated. We're playing on hard mode now. Hard That's mode? Clearly. What the shit fuck? Hard mode with an easy clap. Alright, move down to this side of the room if you guys will. I'm trying to, I'm gonna get polyed. I just got gift of the titans. I got I'm you. polyed in chat. Oh, I love you so much. You hey. rouse me. More than any of the male in my life. <clears throat> Alright, we're good now. I LOS'd. I don't know why she's so annoying to kill with three people. It's kind of irritating. I, it looks like you can outrange the eyes. Oh, oh no, oh, oh no, I think it was Gift of the Titans. It was on me, we're good. Cool. Uh, oh, you would drop those fucking bombs there. Woo, all right, I'm moving down to the end of the room. <laughs> it's just, it's, just it's, been a, it's been a chain Wait, course of like... My fun here has been like, cool, I found the composition, Void Eruption. <laughs> it's good. Darken Sky. 
Oh, buddy. Come here, bitch. Why are you in the fire? Proxy with all that damage. Justice, man. Ah. Oh. Buddy, I'm Thank, I'm thank you for your you contribution. Right? <laughs> right? You know what? I'm gonna I get gift here to. and go just ham and not care. Okay. Ham bone. Ham bone ski. Yep. I'm just gonna stand in this because I have gift. Execute, execute, okay. execute, execute, execute. Yeah, but it's execute. still, it's still oh. gonna. Oh, Perfect. yeah. There you go. Whew. GG, All right, boys. We did it. There you go. Well, before we wrap up, uh, can you touch touch a little bit? Or, you know, we talked a lot about balance. Is there it, resto? Is does it look like that meta is changing at all for the MDI? Are we going to move right back into uh, to a new expansion, a new season with uh, every single uh, every single team running that that balance druid healer? Or sorry, resto druid healer. I, I really think that resto is still going to be strong, and it's going to be even stronger now because we're getting cyclone baseline. So now we have a reliable source of. CC. Well, not baseline, but you'll get it with whatever affinity you choose to run. Wow. Wow. Well, it will be interesting. Thank you so much, Proxy, for joining us today. I appreciate it. And uh, and guys, just as a heads up, I'm going to let him do a little plug right now. Um, he's got an MDI coming up that I, I absolutely oh. think that if you have the time, you should take part in. Proxy, I'm going to let you take this away. We're cutting up. May 30th, <laughs> 11 a.m. PST. Where can they find the information on this? Where, where can they find the deets, which we will have linked below, by the way? Instagram.com slash proxy TTV or twitch.tv slash proxy TTV. All right. Either way. Guys, you can do either. thank you for joining us once again. We have been two beards and you've been between us. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Thanks, Proxy. <laughs> Peace. Of course. Love thank you, buddy. guys. And, uh, yeah. That's about it. Okay. Cool. You guys ready? And, uh, I'm going to talk to this guy. We're going to, we're going to, I'll do a transition here. Transitioning in. Oh fuck! I just walked out. Okay, that's fine. Don't don't start it yet. Walked out of what? <laughs> I just. Uh, did it take you? Take. I need you guys to come back out because it won't let me go back in because I I'm not the leader. This is going well, guys. Um. <laughs> <laughs>